I've seen in, in practice a couple of different applications of it and, and not just people doing it, but people advocating it um, like in real life and through social media and stuff like that. And one, one view is that basically that top left box is all that matters, urgent and important and everything else. And as long as you're hitting that, ticking the box, well done, you're striking everything you need to strike, which I'm not a strong fan of personally. Because I feel like this. It's one of my firefighters outfit for their birthday. Well, that's it. That's that's it. <laughs> yeah, you exactly. almost that's that becomes what you do. It's almost yes, you're prioritising your activities, but your time is still being a hundred percent led externally to you. Um, and I think, and you you hit the nail on the head with it, Joe. Is that if I got it right, the, the top right, that um, important but not urgent. That's that's the box that drives things forward. And I've seen that making time for those activities is absolutely key i think that's that's what takes you from forming to building i don't know if they're the right words for it but you know you can get by in that top firefighting one but you 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 know you don't end up changing anything if you like or moving forward or taking time out and it is it is that discipline i think not to fall fall into just looking at that or the others like you said meetings for the sake of meetings or activities you do at home that don't really change anything but you do it because you like doing it um or you're driven by you know other people's things and it's it is a balance across all of them but i think that that top right one is is the absolute key importance and and prioritizing that but making sure you keep an eye on that urgent and important is is the way i that's the way i try and push myself and i don't do it exactly like that like you said in the the four boxes i'm kind of i'm wearing the methods but i shared last week on the podcast and i've got some more to show you i've just completed my first month where i've kind of made the activity list for the month of things i want to do and i said i kind of got 90 percent of it done and but it what it was is because i have time during the day where i can do things and i think i'd slipped into a rut of doing things but not being very effective and i think it was a little bit of a mix of urgent and important whacking stuff out the way or that kind of nice to do type thing and i was kind of whittling the time away whereas i've now made a list and there are things on there that are they're important but not urgent by the virtue that i can plan them out over a month but i'm making sure i'm doing that and there's still time where i can do the urgent bits and i you know, i had to take one of our pets to the vet the other morning so it completely crashed what i was doing so there are things that come in but again if i can because I, I use it for the week and then what i normally do is i might pick off a few things at the weekend if i've got time but if uh, 15 out of 20 days in a month i can tick off what i was planning off that important not urgent list that's progress is coming in so i think it's a it's a different slant but i think it's exactly the same mentality and i did achieve a lot more in january than i would have done if i'd have just kind of bumbled into the activities every day so that back to the planning thing i suppose planning is is really really key and making sure that it is forward facing stuff as well and sometimes and i can see them they're there there's stuff i don't want to do but i make sure that that's the only thing i've got to do rather than Oh, I'll just put that to the bottom of the list and then it never gets done.